Hello, welcome to the WordPress in Conversion Tutorial Part 2. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can add WordPress menu with your theme and add widget. If I go to my uh, theme, these menus are all static menu. So, I will change these menus with my WordPress menu by using WordPress menu functions. So, our first step is to add the menu option in my functions.php so go to the function.php which is empty now so add the line to register the menu register w for menus uh, array which will be a primary menu and menu name will be top menu and uh, after saving this file if you refresh the admin panel uh, our admin panel is open here and there is no menu option and after adding the functionality uh, if I refresh the page and they can go to the appearance you can see menu is appeared here so and the uh, menu name will be top menu and create menu now uh, add some uh, custom link or post or paste whatever you want so i will add custom link home localhost wordpress which is the base url and add to main Pass menu is added. So again, services you can add any page link here. I am just adding the base URL. Contact us. And about us. You can change the URL link later when you want to change. Okay. Uh, suppose that there are four menu options and save the menu. And from the manage location section, select the menu position uh, of top menu, top menu, and save changes. Now open the site on here yeah, the menu is not uh, displaying here yet because uh, I didn't change my uh, header section so go to step 2 and add this line into your header.php and remove the previous static menu. So I'll go to header.php and these are our header section and the menu section. Just select the static menu. Just uh, don't select the UL and all LI, select the all LI and delete. And here, paste the code of step 2 WP name menu. This will display the WordPress menu in this location. Now, save the file and again refresh the page to see the effect. The menu is appear, but uh, looks are not appropriate. Now, to change the looks, you have to write custom CSS for this file, uh, which is added in my step 4. You can um, add any CSS for your menu item or to change the looks, and uh, I have used uh, one way. You can modify it by your own. So add this CSS under style.css file. 
seems as and at the bottom of this file I discovered to change the menu looks. Save the file and again reload the theme. Now you can see the menu looks are appropriate. And these all menus are arrived from our WordPress menu section. If you modify here, then this place will be modified. Okay, our uh, menu is dynamic now and uh, next part is to make this section dynamic. Here you can uh, display any particular post or page. Uh, now I will uh, display here the latest three posts. If I get to go to the admin panel and click on the post, then you can see there is no post here. So first of all, I create a sample post here. Suppose post title is style one. You can try style one. And uh, publish the post. You can see there is no feature image option. So at the feature image, uh, you have to um, go to the step five and uh, add the active support post thumbnail. And this is the thumbnail size. So add this function into the function.php file. Under the menu function. Okay. Now again go to the admin panel and if you refresh the page, then you can see the feature image option is appeared here. And now you can choose any image that you want. Suppose I am selecting this image and uh, update the post. And in the similar way, similar way, I had other two or three posts. And these steps are skips for making the video shorter. Okay, I have added four posts here, and I want to uh, display the last or latest three posts in this section. So to do this, uh, go to the step seven. Step six is already completed, and. Um, Add this code into the index.php file. I will explain this code later. Index.php and remove the static text. Uh, this is our code here. First, if condition checking is there any post exist in the WordPress database, and if the post exists, uh, the counter variable will uh, display or uh, control the um, loop to display the three post, and uh, while loop will retrieve uh, one by one any post, and uh, here except or summary will be. Uh, displayed in the form base and counter value will be increased by 1. And when the counter value is 3, then it will exit from the loop. In this way, loop will uh, display the post title uh, with primary and the post summary. And there are another read more button is attached here uh, to uh, read the full text of the post. Okay, now go here and check the post is displaying or not. Here you can see the last three, last two posts are displaying here, style 4 and style 3. If I uh, change the counter value 3 to 4, then and it will display the latest trade post. 
in this way you can display all the posts or uh, or a specific post in your index page our post uh, part is uh, show now go for the next section here teacher certificates yeah teacher service all takes a static so i will uh, remove this part with free visit and uh, visit uh, code to adding free visit code is added in the, in the next step so at the visit go to the step 9 and add the code of free visit in function.php file copy the code of step 9 and paste in the function dot page file. Okay, here three uh, sidebar is uh, code for three sidebar is added here. Sidebar one, sidebar two, and sidebar three. This will be the sidebar three. Okay, now. Uh, Three sidebar function are raised here. Now you have to use this function into index.php file. So go for the next step. Step 10. And add it into index.php file. Feature section. Feature section is this part. So go to this section. Okay, it is here. So, replace uh, this section with this uh, widget. This one is for sidebar one. This one is for sidebar two. And this this one is for sidebar three. So just rename the sidebar name. Okay, save the file and now go to the add main panel. Okay, here again refresh the admin panel and check the wizard option is appeared or not. Okay, now click on the appearance. You can see wizard option is appeared here. So, here you can see our three sidebars which are registered sidebars, sidebar 1, sidebar 2, and sidebar 3. Now, I will here add custom HTML. Type the title Barber Weather and and any HTML text we use quality Barber Razor. Okay, now set the content. Click on that. Okay, in the same way, add other two widgets using custom HTML. the title here uh, in the, with the second title location P location P use location P and at the third cycle Barber shape. Barber 
Now you can refresh your team and check the wizard is working or not. And refresh my team. Here you can see the information is arrived from our wizard copy. In this way you can make the other parts of this team dynamic. Hope this tutorial will help you to solve your problem. Thank you for watching.